In the fertile highlands of central Mexico, a menacing giant known as Popocatépetl has awakened once again. The volcano had a moderate explosion on Saturday and has been spewing ash and smoke for weeks. It was a loud boom, says this woman, but since it's always rumbling, we're kind of used to the explosions. Authorities are getting ready, if necessary, to evacuate as many as 12,000 people from three towns at the foothills of the volcano. The town of Santiago Salitzintla was put on alert last year after an eruption. But longtime residents say they're not going anywhere. I'm not afraid, not at all. We've been here a long time and nothing has happened to us. They've evacuated us once because it was spewing ash, but nothing happened. The threat of an eruption literally looms over their heads. The volcano, also known as El Popo, rises more than 5,400 meters above sea level, or nearly 18,000 feet. It borders three Mexican states. The volcano is located near some of Mexico's most densely populated areas. It sits roughly halfway between Mexico City and Puebla, where some 25 million people live. <laughs> Nefi de Aquino is in charge of public safety and has the unenviable responsibility of issuing the alert if the volcano erupts. For him, the volcano is like a moody god. He inspires in me respect, right? Because you can't mess with this lord. The explosions have the potential of finishing off the town in seconds. De Aquino has been documenting eruptions of the volcano for 40 years, including this one in 1999 that formed a 7,000-meter cloud of ash. The ancient Aztecs worshipped the volcano, a tradition that continues in modifying form to this day. Our ancestors, the Aztecs, would sacrifice virgins to the volcano. More recently, our fathers would take them offerings of food, fruits, and legumes. Thanks to Lord Volcano, we have our vegetation. Here, everybody talks about the big one, the massive eruption that may one day bury this town and others. De Aquino can only hope the volcano will give him enough time to save his people. Rafael Romo, CNN, Santiago Salitzintla, Mexico.